delighted to be speaking to you today about Sai Twombly's untitled Rome from 1970, which is a top highlight of our upcoming modern and contemporary evening auction on the 27th of June here in London. Untitled is part of Twombly's Blackboard series, which he began in 1968 and concluded in 1971. This series is Twombly's most iconic and most instantly recognizable. Twombly was enlisted in the US Army in the late 1950s as a cryptographer at the Pentagon. He would spend time in his room in the evenings and he would draw in the dark. It was these early drawing experiments of subconscious thought and automatic drawing that really influenced the inception of the blackboard paintings. The late 1960s marked a pivotal shift in Twombly's career. He began to move away from the very saturated, highly textured, colored surfaces of his earlier output, and he moved towards a more monochromatic palette and towards a flatter picture plane. In the foreground of Untitled, we see seven bands of horizontal loops in this deep umber red color. These loops are juxtaposed against the background, which is a very unique white gray, which appears to be semi-translucent. And this translucency comes across via Twombly's dilution of oil paint. There are also gestural loops in the background of the painting. So this is a very layered, complex composition and Twombly sought to convey a sort of graphic discord between the foreground and the background. The blackboard paintings perfectly distill Twombly's conceptual concerns during this pivotal, monumental moment in his career. Untitled is incredibly rare in its color palette. Only a handful of these blackboard paintings were executed in a light gray, white background. There are comparable works in the collections of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, SF MoMA in San Francisco, and Museum Brandhorst in Munich. The earthy red color on the surface of Untitled is reminiscent of the drawings of the High Renaissance, not least Leonardo's uh, Vitruvian Man or his Deluge drawings, which sought to explore the illusion of motion of wind and water on the surface of a flat, one-dimensional picture plane. In no other period of Twombly's career was he so fascinated by another artist's work. And in the 1960s, he turned again and again to the drawings of Leonardo. On the surface of Untitled, we see Twombly translating Leonardo's frenetic energy from the Deluge series, and we see Twombly abstracting it for a contemporary audience. Heiner Bastian writes in the artist catalog resume that Twombly paints what should be written. And on the surface of Untitled, we see this magnificent duality between writing and painting unfold. Untitled is elegant and irresistible in its hypnotic urgency, and it stands as one of the very best examples of Twombly's groundbreaking artistic practice.